you know, I, I'm so proud of this show car because the directive that was given to me was to create bold, courageous sobs with passion, with the innovative spirit and the DNA. It's, it's no mistake that we've chosen the name Phoenix. It's first off, it's the name of our platform. Of course, Phoenix, mythologically speaking, represents a renaissance. And you know, the Phoenix concept is really giving you the roadmap for the future of Saab. It's a very real car. It's, it's a true proposal for a product of the future for Saab, a true two plus two. Uh, with a bit of the nod to the sonnet, of course, and, and taking a lot of inspiration from the Ur concept, the first concept car for Saab, which was literally the, the fuselage of, a, of an airplane in the teardrop canopy. The Phoenix not only looks aerodynamic, it is exceptionally aerodynamic. One of the more unique aerodynamic features on the car are, are what we kind of refer to as flying buttresses, you know, from architectural speak. And it's really a, a wing plane that is, is coming off of the teardrop greenhouse and wrapping over. And what that does is it actually accelerates airflow and cleans airflow at the rear of the car to allow the car to have greater high speed stability without the penalty of drag that you would see with a large horizontal wing such as mounted on various race cars. Underneath the hood we have the turbo petrol engine from our alliance with BMW and at the rear we have the innovative E all-wheel drive system, an electric all-wheel drive system which has torque vectoring together with the front wheels to give spirited acceleration and to get you out of difficulty in uh, difficult traction circumstances. With the interior, we're really focusing on the driver orientation, which Saab has always been famous for. We've really played up the, the cockpit theme where we've wrapped the IP around the driver. He, he or she is truly cocooned in this car. Above all, we wanted to really play on the minimalist nature, and to do that, we're premiering our Google Android-driven icon infotainment system. This is the first time a smartphone technology has been truly applied to an automobile. The car is instantly connected to the internet, all of your commands on a convenient touchscreen located right next to the steering wheel. And you'll have the ability to upgrade it, to download applications, to personalize it as you see fit over the years. So it's something that will not go out of date. The Phoenix is not the next 9.3, but it is definitely a hint and, and a very strong hint as to where we're going and where we want to push this brand stylistically. And Saab has always had such an independent, such a unique vision and aesthetic. And, and it's important that we continue that trend. And that's just part of the character of Saab automobiles. They've never been for everybody, and nor should they be.